Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Lee and today we're going to be covering the selection pane in Microsoft Word. So in the past few videos we've kind of discussed different styling and formatting when working with documents. And I'm going to show you a feature that will make it easier to kind of uh, see what is currently existing within your documents and what different elements you have within your document. So we'll go ahead and take a look at that. So we have a sample document here, just with some, some random text, a couple images, a couple objects, and we're going to see how that is viewed within the selection pane. So the first step is we'll navigate to the Home tab in our ribbon, if we're not there already. And on the right hand of the screen, under the Editing column, we'll see the option for Select, and we'll go ahead and select that. And then we'll bring a, a couple different options here, and we'll go ahead and select the Selection Pane here at the bottom. Once the Selection Pane option is selected, um, it will then display all of the different pictures, images, objects within our document. And we can actually take a look and see you know, what and where they exist within our document. So if we click on picture one here in our column, it will then highlight the object or the image that is selected within our document. If we click on rectangle, it will show us the object and we can select the different pictures and images throughout our document to see what is displayed. Now the coolest thing about this feature, the one that would probably be widely utilized in the selection pane is being able to hide and show any picture or object within your document. So for example, if we hover over this little eye icon, we can go ahead and toggle that and it'll actually hide the picture or the image or the object within our document. So we can go through and begin hiding pictures, any sort of element. It will give us the option to show all or hide all objects and images within our document. So as you're moving stuff around, uh, incorporating new content, things like that within your document, uh, this feature will make that a lot easier. Another thing you can do when viewing these different elements within your Word doc is you can actually begin to group um, images and objects as they seem fit. So we'll go ahead and show all of our objects again. And say for example we want to go ahead and group this uh, diamond and our rectangle here, we'll go ahead and group those as two objects. What we can do is we can click on one of the objects or images. We'll go ahead and click on the diamond, for example. And if we hold down our control key, we can then select the rectangle. So we have both items selected. And then we will right click, come down to group. And then we'll then group those two elements. So as you can see, these are now one. So we can move this anywhere within the document. Um, if, you know, again, different situations and circumstances, but for this example, we're going to go ahead and group this and show what that looked like. So you can move this anywhere in a the document. These two items are essentially one and move it around wherever would seem fit. So as you're reviewing the different objects and images within your Word doc, the selection pane tool will make it easier to keep things grouped together, keep things uh, cleaned up. And it's important to note that with things being grouped, you can actually still hide and show individual objects and images within that group. So as we can see here, we can hide the picture, we can hide the rectangle, or we can even hide the entire group together. Also, you can identify the different elements within your Word doc. So you go ahead and double click to select the uh, text field, and then we can begin to name the different elements within our selection pane here. So that'll make it easier as you're keeping things clean and kind of you know trying to categorize the different elements within your Word document. And that will conclude today's look at the selection pane feature in Microsoft Word. As always, I hope that you found this helpful. And if you did, please like the video and show your support. I also invite you to subscribe to our channel if you're not already. We upload educational videos and tutorials every Friday at 9 a.m. Eastern, so definitely don't want to miss those. And I also invite you to visit www.tcworkshop.com and take a look at some of our upcoming classes. We have several classes coming up, including classes in application development, cloud computing, cybersecurity, data analytics, uh, business skills, soft skills, things like that. So whether you're an individual or an organization, we have great tailored training for you. So definitely want to take a look at that. As always, I hope you enjoyed today's video and we will see everyone in the next one.